In the small, isolated village of Ravenwood, strange things were happening. People were disappearing without a trace, and those who remained spoke in hushed tones of creatures that lurked in the shadows. The villagers had always been wary of outsiders, but they never suspected that the real danger came from within. Unbeknownst to them, a group of Humangers aliens with a humanoid appearance had taken up residence in their midst. At first, the Humangers kept to themselves, living in a secluded part of the village and avoiding contact with the locals. But as time went on, their true nature began to reveal itself. They were not the peaceful creatures they appeared to be. Under the cover of darkness, the Humangers would roam the village, stalking their prey with eerie precision. No one knew where they took their victims, but the sight of their empty homes and possessions left behind sent chills down everyone's spines. As the disappearances continued, the villagers became more and more paranoid. They barricaded themselves in their homes at night, whispering about the monsters that haunted their village. Some claimed to have seen the hummingers lurking in the shadows, their glowing eyes watching their every move. But it wasn't until a young girl went missing that the villagers finally took action. They banded together, armed with torches and pitchforks, and marched to the humangers' hiding place in the woods. What they found there was beyond their worst nightmares. The humangers had been hoarding the remains of their victims, using them for experiments and food. The stench of death was overwhelming, and the villagers could barely stomach the sight before them. In the end, the Humangers were driven out of Ravenwood, chased back to whatever dark corner of the universe they came from. But the damage had been done. The village was forever scarred by the horror they had witnessed, and the memory of the Humangers lived on, a cautionary tale of the dangers that could be lurking right under their noses. Years passed, and the villagers of Ravenwood did their best to move on from the horrors of the Humangers. They worked to rebuild their village but the memory of the creatures that had haunted them for so long never truly faded. Some villagers became obsessed with finding out more about the Humangers and their origins, poring over old texts and consulting with experts in the paranormal. But the more they learned, the more they realized that the Humangers were just the tip of the iceberg when it came to the mysteries lurking in the shadows of their world. The villagers became more cautious, never venturing too far from the safety of their homes after dark. They spoke in hushed tones about the other creatures that might be out there, waiting to pounce on unsuspecting prey. But as the years went on, the village began to change. People came and went, and the new generations who had never experienced the terror of the Humangers began to question the stories they had been told. Some scoffed at the idea of monsters lurking in the darkness, chalking up the disappearances to mere coincidence or the work of human predators. But there were still some who knew the truth, who remembered the terror of those dark nights when the Humangers roamed the village. And even as they grew old and their memories faded, they warned their children and grandchildren to always be wary of the things that lurked in the shadows, to never let their guard down in the face of the unknown. For in Ravenwood, the monsters were always watching, waiting for their next victim. <laughs>